Praise be Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Today we're going to be doing a small meditation on Lent and the Stations of the Cross. Now this is going to be based on Ignatius spirituality, how they have you do what's called an imaginative meditation where you picture yourself in the story. So let us begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, you created us and you put us on earth for a purpose. Jesus, you died for us and called us to complete your work. Holy Spirit, you help us to carry out the work for which we are created and called. In your presence and name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we begin our reflection. May all our thoughts and inspirations have their origin in you, Lord, and be directed for your glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We begin with a couple of verses of scripture from Luke chapter 23, verse 26 and 27. The soldiers led Jesus away. A large crowd of people followed him. Among them were some women who were weeping and waiting. A Good Friday procession trailed along an inner city street in Chicago. Leading it was a man carrying a heavy eight-foot cross. Behind him were two other men in baseball caps and leather jackets. They were carrying smaller cross. People came out of the rundown buildings and spontaneously joined the procession. Occasionally, the marchers paused at a place of pain. They kneeled in front of an alleged drug house, a spot where a young man had been shot. At one point, a woman ran up and hugged the man carrying the eight foot cross. At another point, a youth offered to carry the cross for the man. What goes on inside of me as I see people spontaneously joining the marchers? Reflect on that. The way of the cross winds through our towns. It takes the road of poverty and suffering in every form. It is in front of these new stations that we must stop and meditate. As we get closer to Holy Week, we might want to take the opportunity to notice the stations of the cross around us in the news, maybe in the marketplace, different scenes like maybe a law being passed that's pro-choice that would be our first station jesus is condemned to death maybe uh, various institutions that are are being investigated especially our, our priests that are being falsely accused that would be station number two the cross is laid on him. What about the attacks on traditional marriage? That would be number three, where Jesus falls. What about station number four, where Christ meets his mother Mary? I think about the times when I drive by the Planned Parenthood clinic and I see a group of women out there praying. I admire their courage and their trust in Jesus. Number five, Simon is made to carry the cross. 
Is there elderly in your neighborhood or in your family that are in need of assistance? I see Veronica wiping Jesus' face, which is station number six, when I pass by an area of homeless encampment. I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find your own Stations of the Cross in your neighborhood. Ignatius tells us that is only in humanity and through humanity that we hear God's voice. Station number seven, Jesus falls a second time. What about the senseless violence around us? Station number eight, the women of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. Always remember the grief of widows and orphans. Number nine, Jesus falls a third time. The number of children missing in the world. Station number 10, when Jesus is stripped of his garments. How do we feel when prayer is removed from public events? Station number 11, Jesus is crucified. What about when he's removed from our government? Station number 12, Christ dies on his cross. Consider the offenses against Jesus that happen over and over again. Station 13, Christ's body is taken down from the cross. Christian persecution. Station 14, he is laid in the tomb. When we walk to the doors of a church and they are locked, May this week be filled with God's presence and also bring you peace.